Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Crazy for fishing in Saint. My name is Juan. Man, the sun is crazy. My wife actually made this for me. It's a little uh, buff that has been uh, knitted on onto this little hat. The sun can get crazy, yeah. But anyway, I'm here back at the ocean here in Betty's Bay. But uh, caught an absolutely beautiful couple of couple of days back. But unfortunately I didn't have my GoPro on So yeah, I messed up that one But I do, took some footage, but not that great But hopefully some of you guys will appreciate it So I'm gonna show you that footage Then we will come back But there's nothing happening here, so I don't know what's gonna happen But it's the end of the year, so uh, Yeah, it has been an absolutely beautiful year Fishing wise So we caught a couple of couple yo not a yeah, couple is two I only caught two this year so far I'm not at the reefs I know where the spots are at the reefs in in the strand but here in Betty's Bay I'm still searching for the hot spots but uh, we always keep on trying always catch with some fresh chocker and the rig that I showed you I will leave it in a link in the description below again so some of you guys haven't seen that footage of uh, making the couple yo rig there's a whole lot of different ways to doing it but I'm just showing you my way, uh, the way I'm doing it. So yeah, today, today I'm using, today I'm using some choka. There's a choka in here. Choka needs to be fresh. This choka isn't that fresh <laughs> anymore, but Normally I just take these uh, little bricks and I just uh, freeze it and then I put my choka on top here to keep it cool. But anyway, we are using some choka today. And uh, yeah, my Revenza Pro X Akuma that Martin gave us. Thank you so much Martin for this rod and reel. He gave us this rod and reel a couple of months ago. Uh, Drillin Blue Surf 12 footer the rod and uh, Akuma Revenza Pro X the reel. I caught some beautiful couple here with this reel, rod and reel. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank uh, Brandon as well. He's from overseas. He just came to visit a bit, visit his father, and we fished a bit together. And his father actually caught a beautiful falloon. And yeah, he gave me a nice little buff and uh, some. Uh, some lures to use I don't think it's gonna work here at the ocean <laughs> maybe maybe overseas but he still wants me to do a video about it and uh, see if it's gonna work I don't know maybe it will work but yeah I need some thinner line with that because it's got a little little weight and then you put on your uh, and you put on your little uh, lure so I'll try it but yeah I need a bit of a little bit of thinner line for that uh, so you can cast it a bit farther further this line that I've got here is uh, a little bit too thick. But anyway, thanks Brandon, thanks Martin, thank you so much for all the support. Yeah, and don't forget uh, about uh, Stefan, Stefan's Fishing Shack. They also gave us a couple of stuff. Man, a lot of floaties, a couple of hooks, and uh, the uh, um, the tubey for the prawn pump, for the prawn for the prawn pump, prawn pump. I use your stuff every day. So yes. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Stef uh, thank you so much for that, Stefan. Uh, we're still using everything you gave us. That uh, elastic, elastic fit, like I said, the hooks and everything, and the floaty, and uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah, here's the choker that I'm using for Cabal Yo. You can see my 6-0 hook that I have here, my 6 hook that I have here with my snell, snell knot and a little floaty and a swivel with a figure of 8 knot and then uh, I've got my sinker and sliding sinker normally what I do is I just put a, a little bead a little bead in between but I don't have 
I ran out of them any, uh, so I don't have that anymore but normally I just put a little bead here so then it slides and then uh, my short little sinker line as you all know and uh, a little rope so normally the the line gets cut you know if you're just going to use it like that but now with this little rope it just works most definitely works better most definitely works better with this little rope so yeah short sinker line little floaty and it looks like this and then uh, i'm just going to put on my chocker I've already showed you how I do, how I cut the chokka and I just put it on like that easy peasy just like that got something on yeah nope <laughs> just a little sharky smallest sharky in the world Would you look at that with a 6 0? -oh. Here's my choker, and here's a little sharky. Man, this is crazy. The smallest little shark in the world. <laughs> anyway, let's give him some freedom. He wants to eat me. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Check out that footage, I will see you in just a bit. Just threw in and just caught a couple here. <laughs> here it is. Just gonna measure it. Absolutely beautiful. So it needs to be 50 centimeters a couple yo. The 6-0 circle look with some fresh chocker, a floaty, and sliding sinker, and two swivels. Let's measure him. Come on, calm down. Fifty-six centimeters. <laughs> Look at that from the head to the tail. Come on. Just going to put him in a little pool here. Look at this absolutely beautiful fish. <laughs> 56 centimeters, absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you've enjoyed that footage. Man, what an absolutely beautiful cabalho. I'm definitely going to have a, have a cabalho braai on Christmas. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful fish. Anyway, just to let you guys know, we don't have any sponsors yet. I've got this channel for almost three years now and we don't have any sponsors. So if there's anybody out there who would like to sponsor Crazy for Fishing SA, uh, we will definitely be grateful. And uh, yeah, it seems like there's nothing happening here today. And uh, <clears throat> seems like there's nothing happening here today. I'm gonna, it's tired of still pushing, but uh, I don't know. I still need to head home. And uh, here's a little bite. Hey, I saw a little bite there right now. Come on. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Take the bloody bait. Come on, you can do it.
anyway for all the viewers out there man if you do want to uh, contrib contribute towards the channel i will show you now on the screen on my phone if you go here youtube and uh, go on one of my videos and then just pause the video you will see down below you can press the like or uh, you can just scroll on and you'll see this uh, thanks button so if you want to contribute to the channel and uh, you know showing me that you guys are appreciating the videos or some of you guys you can press the thanks button and uh, yeah I will definitely most definitely do I will most definitely appreciate that and uh, hopefully we're gonna do some beautiful fishing next year I think this will be the last video for this year and uh, we're gonna try next year again <clears throat> but we had fun and thank you so much for the absolutely beautiful comments from each and every one of you and i've met a couple of great guys who are as, as persistent as i am and who does love fishing <coughs> as well as i am and uh yeah it's just great to be at the ocean you most definitely do forget about a lot of stress and a lot of problems and a lot of everything if you do come to the ocean and enjoy yourself if you catch a fish it will be great but if you don't man it's just beautiful to be at the ocean and just be a little bit stress free you know what i'm saying but yeah if you want to press that thanks button if you want to but yeah if you want to press that thanks button i will really appreciate it and uh, if you do press the thanks button your comment will it will show there in the comments below that uh, whoever a fricky or pity or or Martin or whoever uh, is uh, uh, contributing towards the channel so yeah I will probably see you next year have an absolutely beautiful Christmas and a happy new year and thanks for all the support for all this couple of years that we have this channel and uh, yeah looking forward to some sponsors it will be really great but have a safe one be good out there and uh, drive safe absolutely please drive drive safe and uh i'm gonna say cheers <laughs> can't believe i'm saying i will see you next year but anyway uh hopefully this channel have helped you you know but with with some fishing and this and that it's not always that the ocean produces but if it does when the plan comes together when the plan comes together it's great it is absolutely beautiful i'll see you next year cheers You guys saw in that previous video where I caught that uh, beautiful couple yo. It was at this ex ex exact spot. But yeah, it's this time of year that uh, the reason why I've actually came to this spot. I did a bit of hunting, but there's an almost a uh, little spot that I usually catch my fish. But that place was packed, full of fishermen, full of you guys. Hopefully you've caught some couple yo. So that's why I decided to scout around and I found this little hole. And I just threw in and I got that beautiful couple yo. I'm back at it again yeah at the same spot because uh, that other spot is taken this beach is full of full of fishermen but yeah hey the ocean is for everybody everybody needs to enjoy themselves and hopefully they catch some fish I'll see you next year cheers don't miss out on this beautiful measuring mat for only 250 rand absolutely beautiful We've got a couple of coastal fish on here, which you can measure. Measure your big catch now. Only 250 Rand. Crazy for fishing SA's measuring mat. Man, I almost forgot. Uh, let me just take this off. And put my cap on here. You guys can see me. So yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, so we have... Uh, if I do, you know, sometimes people ask me where do I stay, then I say Ocean View at Clarence Drive in Betty's Bay. And they are thinking, man, this guy must have a lot of money. Well, I don't. Um, I'm actually renting. Uh, it's a big house and we've got a small house attached to the big house. So you are renting the small little house. So yeah, the reason why I brought it up now is because the big house is to rent. So if there's anybody else there who wants to rent the house, 
if anybody out there wants to rent a house for the weekend or for the week um, so yeah it's to rent or otherwise if you want to rent it permanently that as well that I've heard uh, you can rent it permanently or weekly or weekendly so uh, yeah if you want to come and stay here and do a do a little bit of fishing and then this and that I'm just staying next door <laughs> the small house is attached to the to the big house and uh, yeah come and have a bit of a fishing time at least you don't have to drive back if you you know from not from Betty's Bay you can stay there for the weekend or for the week or yeah, or the houses are rented for the um, permanently as well so yeah let me just uh, I just want to get home now and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks like um, I'll see you in just a bit this is the house you will be renting here is the stoop there is the swimming pool and here's the bright area and the other thing so yeah, if you do decide to rent this place for a weekend or for a week or permanently this is what you're gonna be dealing with going down with the steps some grass and here is an absolutely beautiful pool where you can put your cobble yo in no, just for swimming eh, just for swimming Little pool, there's a jacuzzi. Then let's go upstairs again. Inside the house. I'm just thinking if some of you fishermen are deciding. Oh, let me just open this. To want to come and uh, have a weekend here in Betty's Bay. To come and fish a bit. Alrighty then, there is the front lounge, there is a little uh, fireplace, basking TV, and there is some bedding, a little table over here, and inside the house, here is the kitchen, got a fridge over here, and here you can do a, a nice cook and fish, absolutely beautiful. And here you can enjoy the fish with the family. Bright area, uh, <laughs> fireplace. It's not winter, it's summer. But uh, one of the bedrooms. There's a couple of cupboards in there. Oh, there's another little bed, a little stool. There's a bathroom inside this little room. Go out, walk into the kitchen again. And then here is another room. Here's a fireplace as well. Another bed, two beds, some cupboards. And you've got a little bathroom in here as well, a little shower, toilet, and other thing. And uh, going down here, here is a big bar. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know, jacuzzi type of thing. And uh, here's a little shower. Here's another bedroom, absolutely beautiful, look at the sunlight, and uh, that's it. If you want to come and hang out here for a weekend or for a week, this is to rent, it's got nothing to do with fishing, but I decided to post it on YouTube, so I know there's a couple of guys that want to come and fish here in Betty's Bay, but don't want to drive all the way back, and uh, you know, have a nice nice fry and everything, fry of fish. So here's a nice little house here in Betty's Bay. You've got a big house here, a swimming pool, and a bright area and everything. Absolutely beautiful. I am staying just next door. A small little house that is attached attached to this big house. And that is it. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I will see you next year. Cheers.